What is going on guys and welcome back to the Versatorious Gaming Channel. Today we are back in Path of Titans, but we're not on Latrine's profile. Oh no, from what you can see in the beginning, in that little intro we had at the beginning, Latrine was part of a little fight off camera. I wasn't recording for an episode, it was a little fight off camera with one of her sisters. And unfortunately for her, she lost quite heavily she watched as her sisters rallied around this other sibling a sibling that doesn't run very often with the, the group you know what i mean she runs with the group but not as often as what latrine does the latrine was a little bit uh a little bit upset by that and um, took the fight really harshly she she was incredibly disappointed and heartbroken the fight ended up being so one-sided as a result Latrine just wasn't in the fight at all. And as a result, she ended up losing it quite harshly. And as you can see from the intro that we just did, she ran pretty much the length of Gondwa, escaping all the way to Darkwoods, where she is currently still at. She is still at Darkwoods. She is foraging for a, for a scrap of meat. She is trying to keep herself fed and watered and everything else will she return that is to be to be decided i haven't decided whether she's going to return yet there is a very good chance that she will but like i said anything can happen i haven't decided on whether she's going to disperse not or if she's going to actually um die i'm not really sure how latrine story is going to carry on but, because I enjoyed playing with the Northern Lights so much, and I would fancied a little bit of a change in terms of a Dane on, on the channel, for a couple of episodes, it's going to be with this guy that you see in front of us now. This is Midnight. Midnight is a speckled male with melanistic traits. He is completely black slash grey apart from the little white bit he's got on the front and also these bright blue spots that you can see on his back so this is midnight now there is a little bit of a bio to midnight he is known as the night fury and this is his story his name is midnight he is a male he's a young adult his stance is unrelated and unknown. He is built for speed, but he does have the bark ability, which means his attacks do more damage. So think of him as a bit more of a glass cannon. His skin is speckled, as I've stated. Um, his genetics are unknown, but presumed to have melanistic traits somewhere due to how dark his, his uh, feathers are. He has a mute. A mutation slash deformity of goes into frenzies during fights, likely to fight to death and must be calmed, and his parents are unknown. Appearance-wise, Midnight has dark midnight blue feathers, white across the chest with bright blue markings. During nighttime, Midnight is almost impossible to see, bar a few bright blue spots that are blur as he rushes past. He currently sports no scars, as he has never been in, never been hit in fights as of yet. Personality-wise, he is a mostly placid bird who normally resides on the exterior of the clan, mostly unsociable but willing to interact with those who have slowly positioned themselves closer to him over time. While placid, most of the time this Danon... While placid, most of the time, this Danon has a darker, more murderous side. Once enthralled in battle and sensing weakness in himself or the enemy, Midnight will become frenzied, attacking with blistering speed and becoming unrelenting. This can become an issue inside clans, and it will require a caring female to calm this dark bird. Although the one that can harn although the one that can harness him will find him a valuable ally in hunts. He currently has no likes, we aren't sure what he likes at the moment. He has a deep dislike for Allosaurus. He was attacked by two as a young Danon, a young little bird. Attacked by two of them. And so he he survived, obviously, as you can see, but he is likely to fight to death if attacked by one now in fu in any sort of future episodes or anything like that in his life. He will most definitely fight to the death 
and we'll need that said female to pretty much call him off for him to be able to stop. He just likes sleeping in caves. As you can see, we are outside. Again, we don't uh, we don't sleep in caves. He is not very keen. He likes to have the moon glisten through his through his lovely lovely feathers. His moods are obviously placid, and then he has the frenzied mood as well. There are no other moods that we know of at this moment. So the backstory for him, Midnight born to unknown parents is a dark blue speckled male with bright blue highlights. It is rumoured that his parents both carried the melanistic gene. It is assumed that this is what gives Midnight his shimmering blue coat. Due to being on his own all of his life, he has become adept in speed and offence. In dark caves, only a shimmer of his bright blue, his bright blue spots zip across in front of his prey as he attacks in a frenzied state. He has never met a clan before and will take some time to become social. During heavy sunny intervals, Midnight can be seen in the shade as, almost, as his almost black feathers absorb too much heat, causing discomfort. While the rest of the group will hunker to sleep in a cave, Midnight prefers a rock high with the moon glistening through his dark blue feathers. So, there you go. That is... That is Midnight. And what a beautiful looking bird he is. I absolutely think he's stunning. And I look forward to having a little bit of a, a playthrough with him. Obviously, I'm not going to completely abandon Latrine. Latrine will be part of this channel still. And we will have more episodes with her. But for a little while, maybe, maybe like a week or so on the channel... Midnight is going to be the front runner, but like I said, he is very much an outcast. He sits outside the group. He does not sit inside the group very often, and yeah, he's a, he's an outcast almost. You can see Aegis down there still pining for the loss of Latrine. He's staying on the outside very much like Midnight, but Midnight is doing it through unsocial because he's unsociable, whereas. Aegis is doing it because he is missing Latrine. So today we have Overlord on, we have Flourish on, and we have Skaldic on so far. That does not mean that pe other people will not join as we continue. But for the moment, there is three unrelated males and the alpha female. Damn, it is so hard to watch Aegis. Skaldic is playing this roleplay incredibly well that Aegis is down and depressed and... Playing it superb. Like, the, the, like, the roleplay Skull is putting out right now is superb. It does make it very hard for me to keep Latrine away for a bit. <laughs> We're playing on Midnight. We're not playing on Latrine. <laughs> I love the way he's blue. He looks almost neon at night. Superb. See, look, Midnight is not sociable. He doesn't understand. Sit in the shade. Who's he coming round slowly? Lily, Lily coming round slowly. We'll probably ignore midnight, I'm gonna say. Is she gonna ignore midnight? Completely ignore midnight, <laughs> as expected.
Midnight's knight's not interested. Here she comes again. Oh no. This is good. <laughs> Orchid is proper struggling to get over it. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, she'll from there, she'll get to it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid is like proper, like sniffing him and everything while he sat there. He's got no idea at the moment who left. Look at <laughs> oh, kid, this is creepy. The desperate female. <sighs> Midnight wants none of that. I've just noticed Flourish is stopping. <laughs> Flourish is stopping Orkin getting to him. Getting to midnight. There's Ermine up. Oh my lord. Oh no. Oh, this is getting too much. This is getting too much for midnight. This is getting way too much for midnight. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, so everyone's starting to move. Let's see what happens if Midnight does not go. Even Flourish is not moving. Oh, 
Blue, she's deciding. Do I go? Do I stay? Bids. Scared of something. Orchid's scared of something. Arrow's going for a higher view. Midnight is still sat here like, nope, I sleep. Oh, 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 is Lily going to sort Orchid out? I wonder if I can, oh no, 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 no that's not, 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 not it. I wanted to see what happened here. Oh, it's a female. The female. These three males, the the two outsiders, and also Skaldic being upset. The last three to arrive. Midnight is definitely one of them birds that really doesn't care about the interest that are shown in him. You can see that. He's had Orchid following him for ages, and he's just not interested in her at the moment. Not to say he won't be in the future. But he's a very unsociable bird. It's very hard to join with... To join with uh, Midnight. Oh, he's full. He wasn't full when I moved around. While well, the rest of the clan head towards the cave. Oh, skull. I feel so bad. And there we go. Both both the outsiders on a rock near each other. Skaldic is over there. Old Agus. Can't get much higher. But can we see Agus over there? Oh, you can just see him sat down on that rock there with the flower in his mouth. Asleep. What about everyone else? Where is everyone else? Let me see them. You can see Aina over there asleep. Can't really see what these guys are doing through the trees. Sin appears to be coming round one of the lakes, maybe. We can't quite see through the trees to see what they're doing there. It would look like Orchid is sat there, so I would assume that... Orchid is sat there. Lily is definitely sat there, and Ermine is currently sleeping down there. Sympath is coming through the trees now. Slowly coming through the trees as one of the males. wonder if he's looking at the fact that... Uh, these two lads are up here asleep. You can see Arrow here asleep. And right in the back, you can just see his blue speckles. Midnight. Lay there as well. Not quite sure where Sin is heading off to. But he is moving very slowly, isn't he? He is moving incredibly slowly. Who's the bird running around now? Let me guess, it's... yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? We 
midnight's like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Oh, let's go. That made me jump. It's only Aegis over there. Simba. Simba was the male that Orchid has already mated with. Orchid has finally left. I, Orchid should have done what, what uh, Sin's done. Where's Sin? How far away is he? There's, see, there's Aegis. You can just see Aegis there. I can't see far enough to see where Sin is. Sin must be all the way over on the other side of the hot springs. He is, he's on the... Oh, we should have done that. We should have done that. Oh, well, at least... Uh, Midnight has finally had some respite from uh, Orchid. <laughs> Been a while now since Orchid came near him. Strange female won't leave won't leave me alone. No matter how much I move away, no matter how much I talk, will not leave me alone. I've tried. Luckily, Sister Lily has prevented her from getting too close a few times. I'm not sure what she is expecting of me. <laughs> Little bit Star Wars going on there. <laughs> These two males are barely interested in even being part of the clan. And <laughs> if you don't notice, like they just they just follow the group. They're just like, yeah, okay, we'll follow. Oh, what's that? A, fe a female's interest? No, no, no. I don't. I'm I'm just walking. Oh, what's that? You you want to fight? No, I'm, 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 I'm not really feeling it. I'm just going to carry on walking. You'll get bored of 
attempting to fight me eventually. He just stands his ground. He doesn't move. He doesn't react. He doesn't, I'm going to beat you up like the dance do. And he's just like, I'm just standing here, mate. What do you want? What do you want? I'm just stood here. I'm not particularly interested. Oh, that was heartbreaking. He left the flower there for her. He carried the flower all the way back to the swamp. Oh, that is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking, that is. That was where he last saw Latrine. That was awful. Again, little to no interest shown in anyone. By, uh, by midnight, he had a little bit of interest in Aegis down the bottom there. But overall, he's not really bothered. He gifted uh, Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra something earlier. And that was a little acorn. And I think that was just purely to say, look, I'm I'll be nice while I'm here. I'm not uh, I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I'm unless I'm provoked. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything too major. Oh great, here we go again. He look, just carries on walking, doesn't even pay attention to the, what Verdant is doing. Just carries on walking. Not a care in the world. What do you want? That looks sick. You see, hang on, I'm gonna have to go into, I'm gonna have to go into Ancelia. That looks awesome. Let's remove these filters. Look at the way he lights up now. That's so cool. It's like he goes neon almost, it's superb.
That was, I mean, fair play. That one was a little bit dangerous. But it was settled. Face to face. Yo, Orixa. That looks sick. I think you're like, you've got to be like, full melanistic, haven't you? Look at that. That is so cool. That looks so cool. She just go for a swim. A swim. Oh wow, that feels really refreshing. Something new. But uh, Midnight has learned. So at the end of the first couple of days with the clan, Midnight here has had very little interaction with anyone. He, sp he stayed pretty much to himself. He hasn't really gone near anyone else. He sort of got like a little bit of a a little bit of a thing going with Arrow, but apart from that, maybe Lily as well. Lily seems to be uh, giving him some interest and looking after him a little bit. Making sure that Verdant doesn't overstep the mark too much. Verdant keeps trying to upset him, but he's showing good composure. He's not being drawn into petty battles that doesn't need to be there. And he just completely... Completely blanks Verdun, and I think this is winding Verdun up a little bit, but, uh, for now. For now, Midnight is keeping himself within the clan's boundaries and not being shunned out just yet. But that could all change in the next episode, so if you have enjoyed it, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will see you next time for some more Path of Titans.